In late 1928, Carl Stalling, who was basically the first musical director of Disney Studios, proposed a new series of musical novelty cartoons that would combine music and animation. Signing on to the idea of what would become the first in a long successful series called Silly Symphony, Walt gave the project to his head animator, Ub Iwerks, who knocked out the rough drawings for the short in about six weeks. Inspired in part by late 18th century drawings of skeletons dancing by the English cartoonist Thomas Rowlandson. Originally called the Spooky Dance, the Skeleton Dance hit three test theaters in California on March 20th, 1929, and while audiences loved it, movie distributors were a bit reluctant, saying the short might be too gruesome or scary for audiences. It took some convincing, but Columbia Pictures eventually distributed the film, which drew huge crowds across the country and Europe, except Denmark, where it was banned. Imagine that. The Skeleton Dance has been listed as one of the 50 greatest cartoons of all time, as selected by a thousand animation professionals, and the success of Silly Symphonies led to Warner Brothers starting their own cartoons, combined with music called Merry Melodies, which of course led to Looney Tunes, and the music for all those cartoons was directed by none other than Carl Stalling. I'd say those dancing skeletons have quite a legacy. Follow me here and go to my YouTube channel, Level Up Cartooning, to learn how to draw a scene from the skeleton dance and hundreds of other lessons.